PC-10 collection comes with the virtual cockpit, as you can see. When you first start the game, it will be completely blank. What you need to do is go to Views, then Instrument Panel, go to Icons at the very bottom. You'll get this little thing right here. And then in green, or well, it's probably not going to be in green, but you'll see BC on the top right. You click on that. Okay, so it's going to look like this at first, but to access it, you'll just press this. And there's your virtual cockpit. So that's probably something you'll wonder when you first start it up. So obviously it comes with the or with a autopilot, as you can see. You got your altitude, your heading, and your speed, or your uh, auto throttle. You can make ILS landings with this. It has an FMC that works, so you can push in your destinations and work around with that got a, a bunch of animated structures. It's not the best virtual cockpit in the world, but you do get a very, very nice amount of frame rates in here. I generally get around 40 frame rates in this aircraft, which is really good for payware. It's absolutely awesome. But I only get around 20 to 22 in the exterior, but that's pretty normal because the exterior is modeled accurately and has very nice um, resolution and everything. So now I'm going to be looking at the exterior model of the DC-10. It looks very nice. It's really nicely modeled. It's really nice to fly with this awesome plane. You'll enjoy flying it around a lot simply because one, the sound is amazing. Two, it looks cool. And three, it's just awesome. Uh, it's pretty easy on pr frame rates. I mean, I get around 20, 22, which is pretty good, especially because I'm in a city right now. Right now I'm at Kansas City International, where FedEx brings a lot of its planes. I'm not sure if it's a hub or not, but I just know that they will go there often. So it comes with a bunch of liveries. Um, I think there's maybe around 20, I'm guessing, could be more. Uh, it comes with some of the ones that I remember are Northwest Airlines, Continental, there's Hawaiian Airlines, there's FedEx, obviously, as you can see. There's um, a really cool one. It's the U.S. Um, Army or Navy, I don't know. It's it's the refuel refueler module, so it has at the back of the aircraft, there's a little butt thing that sticks out for refueling, for air to air refueling for the, the the Air Force. Oh yeah, so it's the Air Force airplane. And it comes with the Alitalia Airlines. Um, I'm not so sure if they have Lufthansa or not, but there's definitely a, a good uh, 10 some more. I think there's KLM as well. So now moving on to sounds. Sounds in this aircraft is very, very nice. Uh, it has all the models come with the GE engines, General Electric. And they create one of the awesomest sounds you'll ever hear from a plane. It's they have plenty of power, and what really makes it awesome is because when you give full throttle, it buzzes really loud, which I'm about to show you. And it just sounds really, really nice. And it will really really makes flying much better and will add to the enjoyment too. I mean, it's going to be awesome. So now I will get full throttle. I'll probably go into the wing view, like here. So here, let's get full throttle. See here, I'm getting 20 frames. How fast am I going?
So now we're taking a look at the controls. And it handles nicely, I mean, it feels pretty realistic. It doesn't go make real quick movements like any big aircraft would. Um, comes with a lot of nicely modeled things like flaps, speed brakes, like that. Um, looks really nice when you fly. It's great enjoy. Also, I'm going to do something you should probably never do, but in the interior there's a door that opens here and it comes with animated cargo inside at least on the FedEx model the cargo but makes it look really cool only bad part though is that when you land with the aircraft it's just the, the throttle controls you need to give around fifty percent or more power on your approach which makes landing difficult because speed also can control your pitch which will make a smooth approach nearly impossible unless you set the auto throttle or something to speed of about 145 knots or so then you'll probably make it in pretty nice and for some reason it has a lot of power but when you put those flaps down to full degrees it just like becomes a rock so that's the only down part about it so overall, it's a really nice add-on. Rating of 1 to 10, I'd give it probably 8.5 stars. Uh, you can buy it on JustFlight.com, and I'll put a link in the sidebar to the product, which is com compatible with FSX and FS2004. So, hope you liked it, and there's plenty more uh, payware reviews to come. Thank you.